Hello, hope you're well. My name is Frank. Welcome back to my channel. It is a pleasure to have you here with me today. And for any of you wondering what that intro is from, it's uh, my vegan girlfriend, Victoria Ciro. I thought it was a cute Russian welcome. I mean, she hasn't been doing videos lately and uh, blocked me on Instagram, uh, but that's a story for a different day. So what I've been eating is pretty much the same as the past few months. Lean meat, rice, some cauliflower, the digestive enzymes, kefir, as well as cookies, kefir. Uh, so let's go over each of those, the details, and uh, why I'm eating them. So it's actually just after 5 p.m. and I did eat breakfast earlier, which is unusual, but that was the same as this meal, leftovers from the day before. Thankfully, I still have some more leftovers because I'm exhausted. Uh, this is the Lundberg Farms short grain sprouted brown rice, decent amount of fiber, good for gut motility, free of most pollutants to my knowledge, and then just some organic cauliflower, very high fiber content, even better for gut motility, some choline, some minerals here and there. Now, I've been craving this and I kind of enjoy it, so I've been having it with my meals lately. We're just going to pop this plate in the oven to warm it up. Uh, the cauliflower was cooked in a pan, steel pan, with some mineral water and salt. The rice was steamed in the Instant Pot with mineral water, salt, as well as coconut oil. As high quality as possible. We do not cut corners in life or business. So let this warm up. Here we have a petite tender steak. This is one of the steaks that I cooked earlier. I had one for breakfast and this one has been sitting in the pan. Uh, if you guys haven't seen these on Frankie's Free Range Meat, uh, they come packed, you know, four or five to a package. You know, nice, lean, tender, very affordable. Definitely one of the most underrated cuts of meat for convenience, taste, tenderness. And I season that with equal parts salt and organic white pepper. You guys kept reminding me uh, to buy white pepper and I finally did. It's lower in anti-nutrients apparently. And I blend this up in my spice grinder. I don't know, I might sell this to you or some variant of it as a seasoning mix in the near future. A little busy right now though. The salt was just, you know, the Peruvian pink and we have the Bolivian rose on Frankie's free range meat. That was the coconut oil that we use in the rice. Here I have some water kefir and normally I have to strain it out of this or strain some grains out. But since we made that second ferment water kefir for Saturday's video, that's what we're having today. So I actually made it the correct way for once. These are my digestive enzymes. I promised you guys I would make something soon and I think we're actually gonna have one component of this in the next uh, two or three weeks. You guys might be wondering, this is the sourdough pizza dough getting ready, so be prepared this Saturday. You guys have been asking a while. And my dad usually makes my cookies for me because um, I guess he's trying to help me out. He's got nothing to do around the house all day. So this is the cookie dough, uh, my vegan Hitomi, aka Titomi uh, cookie recipe, which is coconut oil, coconut milk, organic flour, organic sugar, a little bit of honey, some vanilla powder, some vanilla extract, as well as salt. And then we have white chocolate chips. Pretty simple recipe, pretty tasty. Easy on my stomach, at least. I think you guys have seen pretty much all of this before. I'm not sure if I've had the exact same combination of the cut of meat, the type of rice, the cauliflower, the type of kefir, but it's been very, very consistent. I've been feeling better. Oh, one thing you guys missed that I did yesterday, which I do like two or three times a month, is eating some balls, not the one you vegan fairy boys like. Uh, we sell lamb testicles as well as goat testicles on Frankie's syringe meat, which have bioactive testosterone. And you know, when I forget to do that and like my testosterone shoots down, I start liking those Israeli Jewish girls and we know that's never good, never good. Changing your attraction levels when your testosterone lowers, uh, some bad experiences. But I had my sheep testicles yesterday and I'm feeling, you know, like I should. Uh, so I actually wrapped two of these in a package for myself, uh, but we sell these in one pound increments on the website. This is just one tiny little lamb testicle, great portion for one day. And I actually had some caviar too, which I ate, so it's not in there. You know, so I do get the omega-3 a couple times a month. I do keep my testosterone high with that a couple of times a month. Uh, I also took my copper supplement yesterday, which I do take when I have uh, the testicles as the zinc content is very high. And I do get insomnia when I don't take the copper. Uh, the one from organ supplements Now i forgot to mention a couple things in that kefir video on saturday that it's a raw food it's a fermented food so you're getting a lot of antiscorbutic properties a lot of the vitamin c in your diet 
super, super healthy. Uh, the kefir grains never go bad. So they're always alive, they're always active. They just keep multiplying and you never have to purchase them again. You know, one thing I was doing for the past few days is I made a, a very, very concentrated beef stock. I took like a couple pounds of chuck roast, put it in with some beef broth in the pressure cooker, made a really nice jus that you guys saw in uh, the French dip video. And I was like deglazing my steak with that a couple days, pretty tasty. You know, I made some onions with it, mushrooms in it, but nothing really consistent. It is nice though, if you want to add a lot of flavor to your foods, whatever you're sauteing, whether it's vegetables, rice, you, know, you could put a concentrated beef broth in it. And I also did coconut amitos once or twice in the rice. So add sweetness, saltiness, but for me, just having good quality organic food with salt on it is plenty. So I actually do feel like putting the coconut aminos on my rice today. And I used to like this company a lot more, Coconut Secret, but they started pasteurizing these aminos and they used to be raw, so I'm not as much of a fan anymore, but oh well. You know, I always think, and I've said this before, that if red meat was bad for you, with the amount of red meat I've eaten every day, carnivore diet, all that stuff, it's multiple lifetimes worth of red meat. So apparently I shouldn't be here. I was eating white rice for the past few days and SIBO candida started acting up a little bit because of the low fiber. So back to the brown rice and cauliflower. I'm really enjoying this today. I did a pretty good job cooking everything, like right amount of salt, right amount of fat. So you guys have seen this before. I'll take you know, a couple bites of the meal, then I'll go have my enzymes in the kefir and then finish the meal. Oh, the other thing I forgot to show you guys in that kefir video was I do strain this when I drink it, but I think I have showed this to you guys in, in other past day of eating videos. Now the moment of truth, how did this pineapple apple kefir turn out? actually really good really good i'm not too much of a fan of pineapple but this is tasty and what i really like about this is i put it in the fridge for once so it's really really refreshing and some of you guys might have noticed frank where's the microwave my parents have listened to me for once in their life and after them waking themselves up several times by running the microwave, they figured that they would get a range instead to just suck up all the air when we're cooking. Uh, so uh, now they get to just fry me with their cell phones all day. You know, some of you guys also asked me about high meat and putting it in my probiotic video. The main issue is that it's very difficult to ferment meat properly and safely in our modern environment. You know, as water kefir takes a couple days to do, the meat takes a very, very long time and there's too many environmental factors. Now I could probably eat a little more, but honestly, this is enough for another meal. So I'd rather save this for tomorrow and then have the rest tomorrow. And so here we have our cookies. I'm telling you guys, I gotta get these in Whole Foods as Frankie's vegan cookies with my cute little face on the front and all the little vegan boys won't know that I'm slicing up cows in my backyard. I really will. The logo could be me hugging a cow, but I'm actually choking it, yet they don't know that. Yeah, there's some like, uh, some funky flavor in that kefir from the pineapple, I think. Just stick to the lemon and lime. Should I do a physique update and show you guys the gut I have from eating all these cookies? <laughs> Maybe we'll do that on Sunday if I'm lazy. Take my shirt off so all the vegan girls can laugh at me. Haha, <laughs> you look like my boyfriend now. I wonder if there were any fork bites to edit into this. It didn't happen today, but there were a couple times throughout this week where I bit on my fork so hard I was like feeling my tooth to see if it chipped. Uh, but I don't know. Uh, thank you guys for joining me today. Please drop a like on the video. Leave me a comment down below. Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, if you can check out frank com for all of my businesses, support me in trying to get people happy and healthy through high quality nutrition. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.